Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today I want to tell you about the story so far. I want to tell you about how AMC and GameStop arose to be a play. I want to tell you about what happened in January and I want to tell you about what's going to happen in the future. And I've also got some key updates and key data later in the video as well. So stay tuned and let's make some money. Also, before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 4,600 of you that have currently dinged that notification bell, because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And just a quick one before I dive in with the key information. If you haven't already, be sure to check out those links down in the description below to get yourself some free shares with Moomoo and with Free Trade. With Moomoo, you can currently get a free share worth up to $350 and a guaranteed share of $48 value as well. With Free Trade, you've got a free share worth up to £200. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, how a community of Redditors uncovered the biggest secrets behind GameStop short squeeze and Wall Street stock market manipulation. Now this thread also includes a link to a digital library of due diligence around the most significant financial event in history, being the AMC and GameStop squeeze. I have to admit, this looks like a brilliant library of tons and tons of different MOAS related book covers. Absolutely brilliant, and I do hope they release a book and a movie one day on these events. As always, I'll be sure to leave the link to this post down in the description below in case you want to read through it on your own or in case you want to read through any of the old due diligence that has been performed over the previous eight or nine months. So, the biggest short squeeze of all time is coming. GameStop is going to the moon and it's a matter of when, not if. But explaining why GameStop and other meme stocks are exploding is complicated, especially for those that aren't retail traders on Reddit. Wall Street's dirty tactics behind manipulating GameStop and other meme stocks such as AMC were revealed by everyday amateur people who traded stocks. These folks are called retail traders, or as Wall Street likes to call them, dumb money, or as we like to call ourselves, the apes. Retail trading has grown in popularity in the past few years, snowballing to 25% of all market trades in 2020. Retail trading became viral after GameStop's first short squeeze in late January of 2021. When the first squeeze happened earlier this year, the mainstream financial news outlets described GameStop and other meme stocks as a battleground between retail investors and Wall Street. David vs Goliath. However, what financial journalists and stories had wrong was assuming that social media communities coordinated their attacks on Wall Street shorted stocks. They couldn't have got it more wrong. Retail investors know what's going on behind GameStop and other meme stocks' potential short squeeze, but the public won't know the actual reasons why until long after the squeeze has happened. The stock market could also crash alongside GameStop and AMC short squeeze due to many financial institutions being over leveraged who continue to short the stocks. When Lehman Brothers collapsed in 2008, Everyone from bank customers to policymakers to Queen Elizabeth herself began to ask painful questions. How is it that nobody saw this coming? Financial journalists are asleep at the wheel once again. But to quote the big short, there was a few outsiders and weirdos, that's you and I, that saw it coming. Wall Street hoped retail investors would forget about the shorted stocks. They flooded the media with waves of FUD, fear, uncertainty and doubt, pumping up crypto coins and weed stocks to divert the attention away from the meme stocks. Instead, they created a Streisand effect. The Streisand effect is a phenomenon that occurs when an attempt to hide, remove or sense information has the unintended consequence of increasing awareness of that information, often via the internet. Many retail investors got into GameStop for different reasons initially. For years, GameStop was dogged by predictions of its failing business model. In mid-2020, a budding YouTube personality, Keith Gill, also known by his online alias Roaring Kitty, or you deep F in value, began posting online commentary about his analysis into the undervalued stock. His commentary grew popular and helped drive excitement around the company. But for you OG apes out there, and maybe even for some of you pre-January apes out there, you will know that Keith Gill didn't get popular until after the January squeeze. Pre that January squeeze, he was fairly well unknown. The craziness behind the first squeeze in January created intense interest fueling growth in stock-based subreddits such as Wall Street Bets, 
GME, and eventually Super Stonk and AMC Stock as well. The retail traders devoted themselves to studying the meme stocks, the stock market, and the impact hedge funds have with shorting stocks. The communities that formed consisted of everyday folks from around the globe, presenting diverse backgrounds and different walks of life. This is a stark contrast to how Wall Street and the mainstream financial news media portrays the retail investors. The communities dug in and researched as much as they could about the shorted stock. What they found was shocking over the next few months. They found corruption, manipulation, and years of deceit behind the big players on Wall Street. And it definitely seems that Wall Street hasn't yet learned its lessons from the 2008 crash. Day by day, as the meme stock swung wildly up and down in price, retail investors held on. With each passing day, the retail investors increased their knowledge collectively about the stock market. Information around naked shorting, synthetic shares, DTCC rules, and failure to deliver cycles became mainstream among the communities while still remaining unknown to the general public. When the squeeze happens, there will be a rush of people from media outlets to FOMO traders to understand what has happened. And it all starts with the due diligence found on these subreddits. Thanks to the contributions and research from many everyday folk from around the world. The January squeeze. In late January, Wall Street bets became viral. GameStop's stock price soared to $347 a share. I bought into the frenzy myself, buying in at a whopping $300 a share. I didn't buy too many shares, the poster said. I was confident enough in what was going on. I had no idea what a short squeeze was at the time, he says. I bought shares, mainly for the symbolic reason of sticking it to Wall Street. I wanted to understand what happened. I tried to understand why brokerages, hedge funds, market makers and banks could manipulate the stock market like this with impunity, stacking the market against the everyday American people. After reading Mark Cuban's AMA, I grew more curious, interested and invested in how everything was tied together regarding the squeeze. In mid-February, the stock dropped from its record highs to $40 and stayed at that price for weeks. The poster says he was down and seeing red. Like many other meme stock redditors, nicknamed lovingly as apes, I held onto my shares tightly. Still, I doubted if I was doing the right thing by holding onto baggage like that. I grew desperate for new information to validate our theories about retail owning the float. I wanted to be reassured. I started to read Great Due Diligence, written by savvy and observant redditors lifting the curtain behind Wall Street's biggest secrets. I browsed Wall Street bets religiously, making it a part of my morning, lunch and after work ritual. I was on my phone so much that my wife noticed and remarked, you're on your phone a lot, that's kinda sus. I grew more convinced of my decision, thanks to the research and the FUD and blatant cover-ups conducted by shorting hedge funds and market makers. Super Stonk in late March and early April, a series of events and mod drama on Wall Street bets resulted in what was called the Great Ape Migration, an exodus of retail traders who have invested in GameStop to move to another subreddit called r GME, nicknamed of the stock itself. A few weeks later, mod drama blew up r GME as well, and the second Great Ape Migration resulted in many Redditors moving to r Superstonk. I remember clicking the join button of Superstonk and seeing about 2,000 community members at this time. 24 hours later, the subreddit blew up into the hundreds of thousands. I couldn't believe it, I thought to myself. This was truly a movement. Though the drama in these subreddits didn't stop, the community's commitment to GameStop was evident. The community was united in their love for the stock and encouraged evidence-based discussion and debate. The due diligence kept coming in from a variety of Redditors in a variety of different formats. Detailed posts and YouTube AMAs from financial experts helped shed more information about Wall Street's corruption and how they've been allowed to treat our financial markets, like casinos, at the expense of companies and people alike. The community's resolve hasn't wavered, despite Wall Street's belief that retail investors will get bored of GameStop and AMC. But they hold on. Red pill or blue pill? I asked a friend one day who is familiar with the situation behind GameStop, do you think we're the crazy ones or do people think we're crazy? He agreed with the latter of my two questions. Talking to people about GameStop's stock received lots of ridicule from friends, family and acquaintances alike. A co-worker said to me, you haven't sold your GameStop shares yet, are you crazy? There's no way it can squeeze to that price, a friend would say. I want to buy in, but it's just too risky, was another typical response. 
The idea that retail investors own the float, possibly many times over, of GameStop stock due to reckless shorting done by hedge funds was incomprehensible to many. The prediction that GameStop and other meme stocks could go to the moon was ludicrous to others outside the retail trading community. Others believe that Wall Street is invincible and there's nothing retail investors can do to change that. I couldn't really blame these non-believers. When I empathised from their perspective, the idea sounded crazy, especially as an outsider looking in. The explanations, the due diligence, the arguments and the concepts were complicated to explain. I wasn't wrinkle-brained enough about the inner workings of financial markets to explain why GameStop was an intelligent play. When I tried explaining things like naked shorting and synthetic shares to people, I sounded either more ridiculous or the words went right over their heads. Like the movie The Matrix, there were people that were willing to take the red pill and learn the truth, no matter how dirty and crazy it sounded. Some friends I talked to about GameStop ended up exploring the due diligence themselves. Many of these friends had heard about GameStop's stock price crazily and came to me for answers. Some of them asked me, can you send me anything to help me understand it better? But it was definitely hard to choose which due diligence to send over to them since there was so much due diligence. So why did GameStop stock short squeeze? The upcoming MOAS will trigger FOMO, fear of missing out, among everyday folks looking to jump in. Every person and their mum will be googling what is the next GameStop. But there will not be another MOAS when all of this pops. Once the biggest squeeze in history happens, regulatory bodies will investigate to ensure that it doesn't happen again, or at least tell us they will. Or financial institutions will hide their tactics better. Now I do want to quickly cover this here. It's not just GameStop, it's going to be all of meme stocks that squeeze. Don't forget AMC and GameStop are the same play. No one play is better than the other. We should be working together as equals, not trying to argue about which stock is better or which stock has more potential. Both everyday people and regulators will want to understand how it all happened. Why did GameStop and other meme stocks go to the moon? What caused GameStop short squeeze? How could hedge funds create naked synthetic shares, attempt to short companies into oblivion, and accrue massive failed delivers without being penalised? I won't be the one to answer those questions. I'm a blogger and a writer, not a financial advisor. I'm too smooth-brained for all of this stuff. But luckily, more capable, more intelligent apes put their minds to the task, breaking down complex explanations into simple and easy to understand answers. The super stunt community has amassed a treasure trove of peer-reviewed research and due diligence that is publicly available. All they needed to do is start reading for those interested and new to the GameStop squeeze saga. To help readers get started, a fellow ape put together a digital library of due diligence posts in a very creative manner. It highlights most of the due diligence that helped uncover the clues behind GameStop's epic short squeeze. All you need to do is click on the book covers to the specific posts you want to read. Here's the link to his digital library. And as I said, I'll be sure to put this link down in the description below. Alternatively, readers can also visit Superstonk's important posts wiki, where many key posts were saved as well. Another suggestion to get acquainted quickly with what's going on is to read their beginner's guide to GameStop due diligence. And also I've created a playlist called AMC Essential Videos that I've tried to include all of my essential key research inside. Be prepared to wrinkle that brain. No matter which path you take to begin your learning journey, I'll see you on the moon. Some other things that I wanted to cover is after this weekend, AMC will surpass the domestic box office money from what they brought in in all of 2020. Shang-Chi is kicking ass. The issue is not people going back to their theatres. The issue is, is that we need more quality movies to be released, period. Hollywood needs to step it up. On top of that, we've got The Matrix Resurrections, which is hitting theatres on December 22nd. So we do have some very, very solid films for the rest of this year, but hopefully Hollywood can continue making excellent movies to show the theatres as well. And just to quickly touch on Shang-Chi, the official Labor Day weekend total is $146.2 million. That is absolutely insane. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about AMC and GameStop and how excited you are for the squeeze. And if you haven't already checked out those links down in the description below, be sure to check them out to get some free stocks with Moomoo and with Free Trade to pick yourself up some cool merch and to join the private Discord and become part of the team. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.